How to kill bed bugs using baking soda. Are you suffering from a bed bugs problem and looking for an easy solution? But after searching for a long time, you are not getting any easy solution. Don't worry. We're here to give you our best advice on how to kill bed bugs using baking soda. So keep watching, get your solution, and enjoy. Finding bed bugs in your home can be a horrifying discovery. Most likely, before ever seeing them you may have felt their presence in the form of itchy bites that keep you up at night when you are trying to sleep. Bed bugs are the reason for many sleepless nights, and the infestation just gets worse if a homeowner doesn't act quickly to intervene. While some turn to professionals to take care of the issue, others look for DIY methods of bed bug control, which the internet provides plenty of options. One of the more popular claims of managing a bed bug infestation is using baking soda as an inexpensive home remedy. What is baking soda? Baking soda is the common name for a versatile chemical that is known as sodium bicarbonate, which comes in the form of a fine white powder. Baking soda is commonly sold in supermarkets and has many uses such as in cooking, cleaning, removing odors, in medicine and more. With its wide variety of helpful uses, it would make sense that people would test it out for pest control. Why is baking soda used to stop bed bugs? So what are the claims made when using baking soda for bed bug control? Claim number 1. Baking soda kills bed bugs by dehydration. The first belief is that bed bugs can die at the hands of baking soda powder via the powder's absorbing qualities. Bed bugs have a waxy layer on their outer shell that when contacted by the small particles of baking soda, will absorb the essential body oils of the bed bug that keeps them hydrated and causes them to dry out and die. The truth, while baking soda is absorbent, it is only good at absorbing bad odors and certain acid-based chemicals. When it comes to fluids such as the oils found on the body of a bed bug, the baking soda does little absorbing if any at all. When contacted with water, baking soda very quickly breaks down, so for it to be able to absorb bed bug fluids, especially enough to dehydrate and kill a bed bug, is quite a reach. Claim number 2, Baking soda is an abrasive and can slice open bed bugs. The second belief is that baking soda is abrasive, much like other natural chemicals like diatomaceous earth or boric acid, and will behave like shards of glass when bed bugs ingest or come into contact with baking soda. The fine granules will slice into the bed bugs insides and they will bleed out, get infected and lose essential fluids and die. The truth, the second theory mentioned above is that baking soda will cut into bed bug shells and cause damage beneath the skin, like piercing or slicing them with a blade. Comparisons are often made with diatomaceous earth, which is similarly abrasive and is capable of cutting into a bed bug's shell as well. The discussion of abrasive powder cutting into a bed bug is a bit exaggerated, diatomaceous earth cuts into a bed bug's shell, yes, but not by very much. It mostly just sticks itself in far enough to stay on the bed bug while it moves around. No fine powder will pierce a bed bug enough to cause it any real injury. Claim number 3, it can make bed bugs explode. Baking soda has combustible elements. If you have ever conducted a science experiment where you have mixed baking soda with a liquid, an explosion of fizzy gas occurs. Baking soda has been commonly used as a way to control cockroach problems where when cockroaches ingest the baking soda and then go to drink water, the baking soda and water mixture would cause an explosion in the cockroaches gut and kill them. The belief made online is that the same result can occur with bed bugs. The truth. This theory also is flawed mainly because bed bugs only like to feed on blood so the chances of them ingesting any baking soda particles are slim to none. They are not going to actively seek baking soda to consume even if it's right in front of them, and even if for some reason they did want to eat it, it would be impossible for them to do because they don't have the right mouth parts to ingest dry, solid ingredients like baking soda. Search theguardianschoice.com. We are always ready to help you with the right information. How does it work? With pest control, baking soda works in more than one way. Number 1. Digestion. When baking soda warms up, the chemical bonds begin to break down and the composition will change, releasing carbon dioxide gas. If an insect ingests the baking soda, this gas will release into their digestive tract and eventually burst the lining, killing them. 
Number 2, Exoskeleton. Crystals in baking soda can sometimes be sharp enough on the microscopic level to cut the underbelly of bed bugs. When this happens, the amount of damage they accumulate can cause eventual death. Number 3, Dehydration. Baking soda is a salt and can absorb things such as odors and moisture. When an insect comes in contact with it, it sucks water out of them, dehydrating the bug to the point of death. And it doesn't even need to ingest the powder for this to happen, as simple contact with it can do the job. Top 3 Ways to Use Baking Soda to Kill Bed Bugs So how can you use soda properly to kill your bed bugs? There's more than one way. Number 1. Paste. Mix soda and water together in a bowl until paste forms, about the consistency of honey. Use a brush and paint the paste wherever bed bugs might hide, such as mattresses, box springs, couches, armchairs, bean bags, etc. Don't forget to get inside crevices and cracks. If there are holes anywhere in a piece of furniture's frame, apply the paste around the hole and when the bed bugs come out to find you, they'll have to walk right through it. Every few days, vacuum up the dried paste and start again until your infestation is gone. Number 2. Sprinkle. Sprinkle a thick layer of baking soda around all furniture and inside cracks and small spaces. Even the carpet can be treated, spread a layer of the powder all over it. Vacuum up and repeat every three days. Remember that a vacuum is an important part of getting rid of bed bugs, as it removes them from your home instantly. By using it daily, you'll get bugs that come out of hiding, putting a major dent into your problem. Warning: Keep an eye on your bed bug problem. No method out there will stop it in just one day, in fact, it usually takes many days, if not weeks, to take care of it. During treatment time, watch your home on a daily basis. If after a week, you don't see a difference in insect activity, either change the way you're using baking soda or switch to a different product. Although soda is a trusted method, sometimes those bugs are just incredibly stubborn. Number 3. Piling. Bed bugs that hide places other than your bed have to crawl up the legs of your bed frame to get to you. Pile baking soda in a thick layer all around your bed's legs, the bugs will have to crawl through it will soon fall victim to the soda's deadly effects. Do the same thing with the couch, piling baking soda around its base. All bed bugs coming and going from the area will be forced to go through it. Search theguardianschoice.com. We are always ready to help you with the right information. Alternatives to baking soda for killing bed bugs. The good news is that there are many alternatives to killing bed bugs, either single bugs or entire infestations. Number 1. Plastic bags. You can place bed bugs in a plastic bag, seal the bag, and throw it away. If you really want to make sure the bugs are dead, place them in a freezer, and LT. 1 degree Fahrenheit, for at least 2 hours before you toss the bag in the garbage. Number 2. Boil them, much like you can kill a lobster by boiling it. Bed bugs also have a very low tolerance for high heat. Place the bed bugs directly into boiling water, or place the bugs in a plastic bag and place the bag in boiling water for a few minutes. Water boils at 212 degrees Fahrenheit, much higher than a bed bug's heat tolerance of around 118 degrees Fahrenheit. A handheld steamer can also kill bed bugs. Number 3. Vacuum. Most households in the US have a vacuum with an agitator brush. Bed bugs are relatively light and will be easily sucked up. The real trick comes with the disposal. Make sure that you place the vacuum bag inside a larger plastic bag when you are finished. This will seal the bed bugs inside, ensuring they do not escape and reinfest your home. Number 4. Wash your fabrics. Bed bugs love to hide and lay eggs on loose fabric, including your clothes, bed sheets, and other linens. Wash everything you can, even if it was just in the closet in storage. Wash these things at a high temperature, if appropriate for the fabric, with plenty of soap. The combination of soap and hot water boils and drowns bed bugs quite effectively. Tips and Warning 1. This procedure takes more time, but it's a very simple and economic way to kill bed bugs. 2. It's very difficult to exterminate bed bugs even with help of professional exterminators and a lot of toxic chemicals. So, 
you'll need to reapply this process several times a year. 3. You should apply this method in all the infested places of the house at a time. Otherwise, your treated area can be reinfested from the untreated area, and your total efforts become useless. Thanks for watching. Subscribe now and press the bell icon. Never miss an update from the Guardian's Choice Official.